guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be what is in my husband's stocking for christmas 2018 this year and i do want to just say really quickly that we are not really exchanging like other gifts too much um i did get him a couple things but we're not really exchanging we don't really need anything we're redoing our basement not redoing we're not redoing we are finishing our basement and we also are expecting a baby girl um, early March. So we have, you know, we're doing her room and getting things for her. So we do not really need anything. And plus we got a lot for the kids. We just don't really need anything. So anyway, I am gonna share with you four gift ideas aside from the stocking stuffers that I did get him and that I think would be really great. Um, but I just wanted to say that mostly everything that my husband is getting is just in his stocking. And then he is getting like a couple um a couple gifts but we really didn't spend that much on each other just because we really don't need anything and usually when we do need something we just go out and buy it i don't know we're not good when it comes to that we don't like wait for a holiday we just like kind of get something as we need it so anyway i wanted to also say this video is in collaboration with one of my friends here on youtube her name is lynn her channel is lynn purposeful joy and she is seriously the sweetest real down-to-earth person genuine you will ever meet genuine <laughs> she's so genuine no but like she's seriously so sweet you guys you have to go follow her if you're not already go to her channel after this video watch and see what she's putting in her hu husband's um stocking and yeah i think you guys are gonna really love her she has a lot of videos that are just like mine um she does a lot of diys though which is so cool she's so talented when it comes to that um and i really just think you guys will like her channel and just like her personality and her her as a person and i will leave her link in the description box below so you can do that when you are all finished with my video and if you're new to my channel i just want to say welcome my name is samantha i am a mama of three boys um they are six four and one and a half and i'm pregnant with a baby girl on the way due early march so if you're new here i would love to have you subscribe here on my channel we do all kinds of mommy lifestyle videos we throw in some vlogs here and there all kinds of stuff so if you're interested definitely hit that subscribe button because we would love to have you here and yeah let's just get started on these stocking stuffers i know you guys are waiting i've actually got asked about this video a lot lately so i know you guys are anxious to see what i'm putting in my husband's stocking so i'm going to just get right to it okay so first i just want to say that I did the video for my kids and what I put in their stocking and I never showed the stocking because the stockings are all hung like on our railing downstairs but since I got one for baby girl I can show you what it looks like what they all look like because I got them at personal creations and this is for baby girl so it's like every other so Kyle's is green and then has a print like this mine's red Brantley's is green Deacon's is red, Hunter's is green, and then Hazlin's will be red. So everybody's is like, it's like every other is a little bit different, but these are from Personal Creations, and I went ahead and grabbed hers just in case um, they decided not to make them anymore, and she's our last baby, so I just wanted to go ahead and grab it just in case. So anyway, that's the stock, That's what the stocking looks like. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just talk about some basics, some things I always throw in the stocking, and that is um, I got Kyle some Nike socks from TJ Maxx, and they're just like the long um, performance cushion high Nike socks. And these were $11.99 and I feel like if you get these anywhere else, they're like $20. So definitely check out like TJ Maxx or Marshalls for socks if you're looking for like name brand socks. So these are actually the ones he loves and yeah, so I picked these up at TJ Maxx for him and who doesn't need socks? So I got him these um, Lucky Boxer briefs. I don't even know if he's gonna like them, but I got him some. I don't know if you guys really want to see, see these, but they're just the Lucky brand um, boxer briefs. And I got these again at TJ Maxx for $12.99. And yeah, again, like if you're looking for this kind of stuff, go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls because they have cheap, cheap stuff, especially like being name brand and stuff. Okay, so the next thing I'm putting in this stocking is this fog-free shower mirror, which I got off Amazon. Oh, and I will leave links for this stuff below so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you're interested because a lot of it's from Amazon. Um, but yeah, my husband loves to shave in the shower and he used to have a shower mirror. I don't know what happened to it. We don't have it anymore. I have no idea what happened to it. 
um, but I think it like broke or the suction maybe came off. I have no idea. So this one says it's fog free. This is the deluxe one. Yeah, this looks like this. Nothing fancy, it wasn't expensive and uh, had good reviews. So I was like, that sounds good. Next thing I got for him, which I'm gonna take out of this package, is this like a magnetic wristband. And my husband works a lot with tools and stuff and this was rated so high. And it's basically like you just put it on your wrist and then like when you're working and stuff, it um, all of like the screws and stuff can just stick to it. And like rather than them falling on the floor and you have to hold them all, like hold all your screws and stuff. So I don't know, it had good reviews. It's like a magnetic wrist thing that you put, um, you can put nails and stuff on. And I've seen people put like tools too, like just hold a tool on there too while they're like doing something else. I thought this would be a really good idea just because like I said, he's always working with tools and screws and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I picked this up off Amazon. Next thing I got, this is I got from, um, I think it's called Duluth, Duluth. So my husband has like work pants from there. He has like some other stuff from there. And I randomly saw this when I was picking up something else for him. I randomly saw this and I was like, this is such a good idea. Cause he carries around like eight different pens and like some other little thing and a flashlight and like all these things. And so I found this uh, pen grip. So um, there's like a removable adhesive tape to mount anywhere and you can just like hook it on your visor, which I thought was really cool. Or you can put it on other like spaces, like on if you're like working in an office, you can put it on your computer. Or, but I thought this would be perfect for his visor so that when he's done work, instead of bringing all his 90,000 pens and different things into the house, he can literally just shove them in here and come inside or something. I have a feeling he probably won't do that. But I don't know, it was rated really, really good so I figured, why not? I thought it was fun. And it was literally like $5, I think. But there it is, like on the visor. And see how it has pens and then it has, what is that, like a tire pressure thing? Um, so anyway, the next thing I got for him, which is so fun and something he'll really enjoy. And honestly, I bet you Brantley, my six-year-old, is going to want to play this too. But it's just a, Ru a Rubik's Cube. And this is just totally my husband. Like, he will love have a Rubik's Cube. He has done this before. We used to have one. I have no idea where it went. Um, but yeah, he'll love this and love trying to see how fast he can put it together. So I grabbed him one of those. And then while he's doing the Rubik's Cube, because we all know how men are, right? You know, a lot of men spend a lot of time in the bathroom. And yeah. So I got my husband some poopery. And this is the uh, lavender vanilla and I'm telling you what I don't know what it is about men but they use the bathroom a lot do they not I don't know I can't be the only one everybody I talk to says their husbands are in the bathroom for like 20 minutes at a time I don't know what they do in there but we don't spend that much time in there but anyway I just thought this was kind of funny because I'm always like messing around with him going to the bathroom and how long you're gonna be in there and whatever so I thought this was kind of a funny gift, but also like practical <laughs> because, you know, spray before you go and it won't stink. So I grabbed him one of these um, poopery sprays. I think he's just gonna laugh when, I, when he sees that. Next thing I got at Target and it's just a lip smacker. I got these for the boys. It is a Stormtrooper um, lip smacker. I think he's gonna like it and probably laugh at it. But um, yeah, this is, this is that time of year where you need to have trap chapstick and stuff. So I thought this would be fun. And yeah, so I picked that up. I grabbed that at Target. And then the next thing I got him was this Working Hands Hand Cream. And it's for extremely dry, dry cracked hands. And um, this had amazing reviews on Amazon. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And um, I thought this was just a really good gift idea, especially for a stocking because it's small enough and then also just because it's really practical. And like I said, have really good reviews. So I'll let you guys know if he likes it. Okay, so the next thing I got for him was just the Young Living Shoe Tran uh, Shave Cream. So we use all Young Living products here. 
um, cause they're natural and safe and non-toxic. No harsh chemicals, um, and made with essential oils. So he, is, he uses this for his shave cream. And then he uses this, which is just um, the aftershave shoe trend. It smells really good. Um, but yeah, this is his aftershave that he uses through Young Living. Next thing I got him was this, uh, was a Wawa gift card. You guys have probably all heard of Wawa, but it's just like a gas station slash coffee, breakfast, all kinds of stuff. Um, and my husband loves their coffee and sandwiches in the morning, so I just got him a $20 um, Wawa gift card. So, next I just picked up some snack items. So I got him this sweet, ch sweet chipotle crave beef jerky. My husband loves this stuff. And then I got, I found these like Sour Patch Exploders with splash of sour flavor. Sour Patch Kids but they're like in the shape of fruit and then they have like stuff in the middle that's sour. I have no idea. I've never seen these before, but I think he'll like them, so. Next thing I got him were two of these Reese's peanut butter trees. So my husband loves the, um, the Reese's like pumpkins during um, Halloween. So I don't know if he's ever tried the trees before, but they're kind of the same. They're like less chocolate, more peanut butter. So I know he'll love these. So just grab two of those. And then he likes um, these 100 grand bars. So I grabbed him one of those as well. Next thing I wanted to show you guys, I'm probably not gonna put this in his stocking. I'm probably just gonna use it for his lunches um, like this week. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because it is a good idea. These P3 portable protein packs, the peanuts, um, original beef jerky and then sunflower kernels and so this is such a good idea for a stocking stuffer too like I don't know I feel like this is a good man snack and then another good idea for the stocking I thought was the Ch Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning um, my husband is obsessed with this we're all out so I need to use this now um, so I'm not giving it to him for Christmas but it's definitely a good idea for a stocking stuffer. Okay, now, a couple things I wanna share with you guys that are really good gift ideas besides stocking stuffers. So if your husband doesn't have one of these already, a Yeti. My husband is obsessed with Yetis. Um, this one is the 20 some ounce one, but he wants an even bigger one, so I think I'm gonna get him, I might get him a bigger one, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, Yetis, you cannot go wrong with Yetis. These are such a good, gift for a man and yeah or a woman because i have one and i love my yeti another gift idea that i thought was really really good is the ancestry dna um test or kit so my husband has been talking about this for a while and so i just went ahead and grabbed it on black friday it was on sale and so i grabbed this for him and i thought this would be really cool to like find out all of this stuff and on black friday i was like let me grab that so I just got it off Amazon. But I think that's a really good gift idea as well. And then if you're a member at Costco, they have so many, so many good like men's clothing and stuff. But I did grab these, which Kyle already has one pair, I think from like last year. But these um, Puma sweatpants, let me see if I can. These are just gray ones. They have all different colors, but these ones are really comfortable and soft and like, I don't know, just really comfy and soft. And I know he's gonna love them because he already has a pair. So I just grabbed like the darker gray pair because he has a light gray pair. So anyway, I think these pair of sweatpants were maybe $14.99 or $19.99, I'm not sure. But either way, it's still a good price. Like I said, they're so soft. Next thing I feel like you can't go wrong with is Carhartt. So Kyle is getting a Carhartt vest and then he's getting this other Carhartt like jacket type thing. Yeah. He says these things are like warmer than anything and we even got our boys um, a Carhartt jacket because they're supposedly like so warm. And so anyway. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas for your husband or the man in your life or maybe even yourself, who knows. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow because I am doing Vlogmas and don't forget to go check out Lynn. And yeah, have a great day guys. Bye. Let me give you a Christmas.